cool. All right. My name is Calvin Wen. I'm a junior in Lincoln Southeast. LFC! LFC! And this is my poem, Men Don't Cry. The second we leave the womb from when we were born, we are taught we will have the responsibility of making the money, doing the heavy lifting, supporting a life worth living. If you can't do these things, you're a failure as a man. Men are taught that if you are not rolling in dough, then no one will want a piece of you. Let me tell you some of the things we still do men these days. Men don't need help. They don't show emotion. And it's probably so confusing, because young men are told, I don't appreciate your toxic masculinity, even though people don't understand it's just the way that I was raised. Growing up, I never understood why things were the way they were. They just were. But the second we try to change, they say, stop being so emotional. Why are you being so dramatic? It's not that big of a deal. Just man up. So hell yeah, I'll do that. Then they want to act surprised when I solve my problems with my actions, not my words. People act stunned when I sculpt another kid's face with my fists and journal my pain using the red ink leaving his body with every new swing like the stroke of a brush on a tapestry of my insecurity. Because no one seems to listen to my blaring silence. Even though I plaster my pain on these paranoid walls for the whole world to see, they tell you not to wear your heart on your sleeve. Why am I wearing my fear on my fist? Mm. Oh yes, and after that I'm seen as violent because I know I guess I can't walk through these halls without being seen as dangerous or a threat. People act like sleepless nights aren't tiring for men. What could we possibly be thinking about? Unsophisticated brutes with no emotion. And what hurts the most is I've been trained and conditioned since birth that men don't cry. So I spend that time in my bed, me and my thoughts. No tears to put out this flame of anger that is in my head. I can't control my thoughts. I can only hope to contain them in this prison that is my own mind. I hear with others, cruelty catches a ride on the tears as they leave the body. So I guess mine are still circulating inside my veins every day, trying to decipher some sort of way out of this maze as we're polarizing over emotional masculinity. I didn't see my father cry once until my grandmother died. It took 17 years. Imagine that. 17 years, I never saw a single tear out of him. It took that much pain for him to be vulnerable. There is no way, because to be honest, I know now. I guess there's a reason men choose to suffer instead of cry. <laughs>